Hello. Today lecture I will discuss is exact sequence. Exact sequence uh, I will take two lectures. Exact sequence one and two. So, uh, first lecture I mainly talk I mainly talk about is the splitting exact sequence. The sequence is very important to understanding homology algebra. As I already said in the pre uh, module, pre module, um, <coughs> concisely, roughly, homology algebra is um, important to to understand. Uh, all of the field mathematics but it is short time everything says about the homology algebra but today's lecture is very related to direct homology algebra the next lecture is also exact sequence in the in next lecture i will refer to injective or um, projective module and dual map dual of, dual of the R module so there were two lectures is about all about the um, spend all of time exact sequence of course to begin with the uh, before to understand the exact sequence, we should know the previous concept linear algebra or algebra. Okay, the two main concepts are the term monomorphism and epimorphism. In the linear algebra, we just restrict the this concept all of the linear map what is the monomorphism and epimorphism but uh, uh, linear algebra but we studied algebra all of the uh, group mapping uh, apply these two concepts so uh, before to before we start to exact sequence I uh, we will concise and roughly refer to about monomorphism and epimorphism. The concept of monomorphism and epimorphism which is subsequently uh, used to prove the exact sequence. Consider phi is a g to h is a map and in this case uh, let's consider G H R R module R module with unity. Then uh, we can say the map B is a monomorphism. Monomorphism is we familiar with phi is injective map. Phi is phi phi is injective map. Uh -huh. This is mean phi is a one to one map, but more the useful expression we later use is here. Its corner is zero. Identity. Ah, uh, identity. It is the leaves reside in H. What is the definition of the corner? The definition of the corner is which element in G in G can make through the function through the function the value is zero. Which value is may can make the uh, image image sent to zero which map so 
abstractly, if consider to this is um, our map, and we some element, I don't know, but anyway, I sent some element. But some element does not to be our, but our, every element in G does not need to be zero. But clearly, some element through the map go to the zero. We can find this element, the collection of element through the map, uh, from the map, the image is zero. The collection of this element is corner. Aha. Uh -huh. So, okay. Let's about talk about in then. Phi is epimorphism. What is phi is epimorphism? Ah, this means phi is a bisective. So, but this is also, also superficial in the mathematical, mathematical sense. So, the mathematical expression we use, frequently use, is image phi is equal to h. This means every element, every element in G goes to Let it then uh, this also super feature using a logical means for any element uh, any element in range codomain for any codomain in H in H whatever we choose the H we can find always find element in G in G such that um, phi Z is equal to H. Start our first protagonist exact sequence. But uh, the definition the before um, that's the definition of exact. Let's see the definition of exact. Um, a pair of module hom homomorphism, in this case, R module homomorphism. Uh, in some case, we can omit the R module homomorphism. It's the R module homomorphism, okay. But what is the a pair of the two F and G? Aha. Uh -huh. So A B A to B and G B to C two maps are R module homomorphism. Uh, but instead instead of expressing just connected arrows then this is said to be exact at b if image f is equal to corner g this equation this expression we show recall section recall slide so oh Image app means all of the image from A. So app A, all of the image the domain from the domain A is equal to corner G. What is corner G means? The collection B such that what is the collection? The value is zero. In this case, uh, zero zero means zero rib in the element in C. Okay, identity in additive. Of 
or we already studied ABC is additive abelian group we know <clears throat> but we can we do not need it uh, we can extend the arrow finite or infinite so we can induce this is called exact b what we consider now it, the title of the definition exact sequence so let's consider in in this case consider the sequence a1 a2 da 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 a i minus one a i da 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 a n all a i is r r module r module so is this is additive group and consider uh, map F1, F2, in this case Fi minus 1, Fi, in this case Fn minus 1. Then the sequence is exact. We can say the sequence, uh, of course, this Fi is all R module homomorphism. Every map is R module homomorphism. Then we can say this sequence, in this case finite sequence, is exact if image Fi is equal to corner F, Fi minus 1, corner Fi for all i this one two da, 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 in this case n minus one then this exact sequence at uh, this sequence is exact okay of course uh, this uh, this sequence need not to be finite so we can say all sequence in, in, in case of infinite sequence a i minus one f i minus one a i f i da, da, da. in this case is in this case is finite but this is infinite in in case of infinite sequence we can define exact if image fi is equal to fi but in this case this condition is deleted for r i n yes. so we can define the exact sequence let's talk about the definition of the exact uh, example of the exact sequence the definition of exact sequence is so abstract, so we should, we must check the specific example to understand what is the exact sequence. The first example is one. Uh, there is two. There are two examples. Uh, but I will. This is your exercise. I will concentrately. Uh, I'm focus. I focus on the example one rather than focus rather than example two. But anyway, I will explain, to begin with, I will explain the sequence uh, roughly and then I concentrate these examples one. The first example is, uh, of course, this B, A, D, X, and B, this all the set is R module. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, the, this is the B, the map, inclusion function, and this direct sum and projection map and here 
this is exact sequence and this is when uh, the, in this case C is contained D of course the definition of the R module we know C this element additive group so um, this is rather than the sub rather than just conclusion in this case C D so C is a sub module of D in this case we can understand the quotient the quotient C means this is a factor group so this is also exact sequence this is your exercise but I concentrate I spare more time this example one I more a lot of talk about this First, our interesting is here. Uh, this, what does this mean? This means 0 to B. The allow means this may be R mode homomorphism. Then, uh, in comparison to other map, in this map is no name. For example, B from B to A. Direction B is map inclusion Utah and the projection map is name has name. But this is no name, but we can conjecture this because this is R module morphism. If for convenience I put if this map H and this is H prime, the map should be H0. Ah, is zero is the singleton set. Okay, only this is the R module, but the element is only zero identity. But, uh, however, to become the uh, R module homomorphism, only the singleton set goes to zero. Of course, this zero is zero set in zero. This zero is live in B. Uh, because homomorphism, concept of the homomorphism, all of the homomorphism, preserves the identity. The philosophy is same, even though this is um, I'm a homomorphism. Every homomorphism preserves the identity. So uh, the, the map should be defined here. So B. So this is clearly homomorphism. We can directly check the definition of homomorphism. H0 plus 0 is equal to H0 plus H0. Because H0 is the value is 0, this is clear. And for all alpha, if alpha lives in the element in R module because because this R module this lives in R this is same as alpha H0 so we can check this is R module homomorphism for the same reason the map H prime is also R module homomorphism see two arrows B the map iota and the projection map pi this uh, this map is also R mode homomorphism. Uh, how then why this map is defined I iota B the definition of an inclusion map is B but this is an element in A direct sum B then how to define this is right because this is an element in a uh, direct sum A direct sum B, this contains coordinate 0, comma B. But we uh, skip the, we can, in some cases, we skip this zero notation. Looks like we studied in the projection in the two, dimen two, two dimension, two or three dimension. Uh, for example, we can, in the plane, it, uh, 
the circle is exist then this is x0 is y0 is equal to r but g is 0 but g is 0 is often omit if um, we consider just just consider on the x y plane this is the same reason so we can the map is defined inclusion map is defined here and we can check this is um, also R module homomorphism but I will, I will uh, not check this concisely uh, I I not check this um, concretely just check your exercise and consider the projection map is also R module homomorphism in this case how define the map phi a comma b if two element is chosen then this map goes to two because the element in live in a so this map is defined a uh, to ambulance and this is also homomorphism all mode homomorphism and next task our important task is then okay this is we know this is a R mode homomorphism then this is exact sequence to check the exact sequence unfortunately we should check third third equality first is the corner h is equal to image iota just uh, con remind the definition of the r module this image ah sorry in this image f in the corner g i it's right upside down so image h first image h is corner iota and then next is image iota is equal to corner phi and last finally we check image phi is corner h prime but well, of course or uh, um general this has no name we uh, we ex from the experience 0 to b and 0 to uh, 8 to 0 has no name but in convenience i have a name be um, from, from the introduction of the uh, exact sequence so let's check the def the three if uh, if we check uh, if we check three equality then ah this map is exact sequence but uh note that first equation what is image h this is in fact this is a homo because this is homomorphism as i always uh, as i already said the map is only zero okay to be homomorphism this map zero in zero set goes to zero in b then uh, with our claim changed corner iota is zero okay but um to check this corner iota is the depth the just the definition okay just the definition of the corner but we consider corner iota is zero corner iota is zero means iota is injective the definition of the definition of the corner corner is zero the element corner is zero means uh, iota is injective in fact this map is injective just the definition of the injective 
uh, if iota b and iota c, then we can the, just the definition of the iota, fu iota function inclusion function we can get this relation. So uh, rather than definition of the corner, just to check the the property of this map. Ah, so corner iota is also zero. Uh, the first equation is established. Okay. Now let's check about the second. Uh, uh, but um, I will interest. I I will check this third inequality. Equality. Um, this is rather than easier, and this this equality is similar to show this first case. So in this case, corner H prime means is a why every map goes to zero so color h prime naturally equal to a uh, then um to show this is a and our claim is image phi is equal to a but uh, image pi, uh, image pi, consider image pi is a direct sum b goes to a. But this projection map is surjective. Ah, this is injective map and this is surjective map. Projection is surjective map, so this should be equal to a. Ah, so image pi is equal to a. This Equality is also hold. Equation image iota is corner corner pi. Uh, corner to investigate corner pi, the definition of the corner pi means in this case we find element a comma b in a direct sum b is such that phi a comma b is in a zero a. Which element can be can be candidate in this element? Um, first, we can observe the map is to de determine the zero a. B is regardless. So any any value in B comes to this, um, this, the value B does not impact the, to become 0A. Just this map kills B. So any element is uh, regardless from the, this properties, we can, con we can deduct A uh, but a should be zero. You get this is project the value, just project the value a. So this a should be zero, and b is regardless. So this is element corner phi, corner pi. Then our claim image iota is equal to this set. Or more precisely, this is set zero product B. This would also corner phi is zero product B. Check the definition. I uh, check this the same as the here. Uh, but the definition of the iota, this is domain is only B. So this map go to the B, but include the depth. This is uh, element in a direct sum B. This set is here. So every element B through the map, the element is zero comma B. B every element B is B, but zero is zero is um, added. Ah, so we can say. If from the definition of the inclusion function, this is same as image iota. Ah, so we can check this 
third, equ third equation, so we can't say this sequence is exact sequence. For the same principle, we can check this map is also um, are more, uh, uh, exact sequence. Now, 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 let's recall, let's see again this query, guys. Why? Um, among the, among numerous of exact sequence, this is special than any other sequence. First, remark, remarkable uh, point, the sequence is, uh, each side is zero. So it's, number two, example of number two. And the, and the interesting property, it has no name, the map has no name, but um, we see in, from the information, uh, from the examples, we can directly can observe image, uh, this is, Map iota is injective because of the co each corner is zero, and the map pi is surjective. But if the each if the each side is zero, then this property, each this property is always same. So what 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 does it mean? From the example E2, this is also the map I is also injective and the map pi is also subjective. Ah, each side, if each side is a sequence is zero and because this is a two map is homomorphism, R mode homomorphism and the def definition of the exact sequence, each map which is located in here should be should is should be injective or subjective. So this is special exact sequence has a special name short exact sequence. So the definition of short exact sequence here. If exact sequence and each side um, is locate, located in zero zero identity additive group then this is called short exact sequence and as we said this sequence is always the map is not and or every exact sequence f is injective and g is surjective Now let's talk about splitting exact sequence. Splitting exact sequence is a type of a short exact sequence, but it is a special type of um, special type of splitting exact uh, special type of exact sequence. Let's read the, let's read the definition. This is typical. Um, description let R be a ring blah 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 this short exact sequence is called sp split or split exact sequence what then then when this sequence is split exact sequence ah uh -huh. this if B is expressed a one direct sum is a2 then this short exact sequence is said to be split exact sequence um, as we see the first example of the 
first example is a uh, short exact sequence. Now, the remarkable point is here. Every every uh, exact sequence, every exact sequence does not imply split exact sequence. The counter example is here. Consider the short exact sequence 0, G2, G4, G2, 0. Uh, we can check, verify that this is clearly uh, exact sequence. Exact sequence check the definition but this is not a split exact split, split exact sequence if this is true g4 is decompose isomorphic to g2 direct sum g2 but clearly this is false this the group is order 4 is only 2 this is g Four and and Klein four group, but um, this is not the same. But Klein four group is isomorphic to v two direct sum v g two direct sum g two. So this is not a split exact sequence. Next object is find equivalence relation of the split exact sequence. Uh, finally, uh, at the end of the last last slide, we can show, we will show uh, the equivalence relation of short exact sequence. So logically same, and I will prove the uh, same, same statement. So to in advance, we should know two lemmas. First is five short lemma, and uh, the other is no no name, but this is just a, this is just a lemma. First lemma is five short lemma. This is well, this is so um, interesting name five short lemma. Uh, maybe the reason is the. Uh, number of the exact sequence a, 0, A, B, C, 0. Let's read the definition. Uh, let's read the lemma. Let R be a ring and commutative diagram of R modules. Uh, commutative diagram, what means commutative diagram? As we, show, as we showed uh, in the pre-R module, this turning arrow Termitive di diagram means in this this relation. So this means composition F beta is um, F prime alpha. This is the left commutative diagram, and we can find another commutative, di commutative diagram. G composition gamma is equal to beta composition G prime. This is commutative diagram. And R module homomorphism such that each row is short exact sequence. Each row is short exact sequence. Then we can find a this hypothesis. Then this is our Result uh, alpha and gamma is hypothesis. So if alpha gamma is monomorphism, then so is monomorphism. D map beta is monomorphism. And if alpha gamma is epimorphism. Then, oh, then 
epimorphism, then beta is also epimorphism. And if alpha and gamma are isomorphism, so beta is beta isomorphism. This is five short lemma, and I prove the statement one two. Prove the five short lemma. First is if alpha and gamma are monomorphism, then beta is monomorphism. But as we can study, study monomorphism, the same equivalence is its kernel is zero. This expression is useful for this proof. So for the proof, so beta is monomorphism. Our claim to show is beta is monomorphism. So this our claim is its corner is zero. So to prove this, I will some define. I define the some set. This is the set delta b uh, tilde b tilde b means b in b. That's that. Which element beta tilde b is zero. Ah, this uh, if this is our claim. If this is only singleton set, this zero is our uh, who li this zero lives in B. Is zero only singleton set is the element of the tilde B. Our claim is clear because this is equivalence. Beta is monomorphism. Okay, then the, to prove this. Maximal, we use maximal, use these commutative relations and the definition of the short exact sequence. This each row is by the hypothesis, our assumption, this is short exact sequence. First, I will apply this commutative relation in tilde b. So this means, um, not a beta, gamma, gamma, g, tilde b is equal to uh, g prime beta, beta b tilde. This is commutative relations. But because the tilde b by definition of t collection of the tilde b, this uh, value is go to the zero. So this is g prime zero. This zero lives in b prime. Okay. Um, but not that the, when considering the definition of the short sequence, g is r modulo homomorphism. R mode homomorphism preserves identity. So this is also zero. Live in C prime. Okay. Then we can conjecture. We can deduct gamma G tilde B is a zero. Then note that Gamma is the high for our assumption. Gamma is monomorphism. This means the definition of monomorphism. Definition of the corner. This to hold this G tilde B is only to zero. This live in C because gamma is monomorph because of gamma. Monomorphism. Only to hold this zero element. Okay? Gamma is monomorphism. If and only if corner gamma is zero. 
the map if to become in order to become in order to become zero this g prime b is only to zero then from the definition again we deduct corner g but this is that tilde b is the definition is uh, we started from this this commutative relation all element in tilde in b tilde so um, we can deduct corner g is equal to tilde b okay then again the definition of the exact sequence in the top top sequence this is equal to image f this is definition of exact sequence ah you can important information to prove tilde b is equal to image f this means i shortly this equivalence um, b is surjective b tilde is surjective so this is f for lm every element in tilde b there exists a in this case a, a in a such that f a in this case tilde b f a is tilde b so tilde b depends on the um, value in domain value a okay in this case now um next is the let's consider the left side of commutative relations in this case we can the, apply the commutative relation f prime alpha a is equal to for all element in a f a for all element in a okay uh, then consider this um in this case consider a tilde depends on the element choose the element every element in a hold but consider tilde a such that f a is equal to tilde b then we can deduct this is beta b and this is the definition of the tilde b is zero and this means f prime alpha tilde a depends uh, tilde a is zero this means again the definition of the corner alpha tilde a is equal to corner f prime then note that in this case corner f prime is equal to image the definition of the exact sequence is albeit this is no name this is equal to image 0 to a but the, this map is r mod homomorphism this is this can, this should be zero ah then we can get alpha tilde a is zero then note that the alpha is uh the our assumption alpha is monomorphism so this alpha should be zero 
the definition of the monomorphism of the corner or corner. So this means note that beta depends on the value of the value of the tilde alpha tilde, but alpha tilde is only zero. This means f alpha tilde. This is f zero. But because f is our homomorphism, preserve the identity. This is originally beta b, but this is also zero. Ah, so the collection of the tilde b is only zero. Tilde b depends on alpha tilde, but alpha tilde is unique value zero. So our claim, first claim is proved. Step uh, proof statement to the epimorphism, epimorphism case. The following the definition we write for every where, whenever whatever we choose B prime there exists blah 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 in B such that beta blah 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 is equal to b this b prime is better our long trouble is to find this treasure okay first um, uh, as we said the proof as we did proof month a follow the commutative relation in this case for r element in B applying the commutative relation G gamma G B is equal to case, beta G prime for all element in B but not that G prime beta Composition of this composition is in C prime. Does this, this? I don't know. This is what is what this is value, but clearly in element C prime. And when considering the when considering the definition of exact sequence, in particular short exact sequence, G should be surjective. Do you remember? Do you remember? G prime is surjective. Uh, whereas F prime is injective. If the sequence is short exact sequence. So because this is an element in C prime and from the definition of the surjective map there exists B prime in B such that G uh, G prime B prime is equal to this G uh, beta prime G prime beta B so um, in this case, this equation and this equation and this equation is all the same. Okay. So, because the th three equations are the same, um, get, getting rid of two term, second term, we can we can write gamma g b. In this case, uh, oh, rather than the first sequence, let's leave, let's kill the first first term and leave the second and third third term. So this is our step ongoing. Gamma prime beta b is equal to. This and we can 
the right side goes to left side, which can write g prime beta b minus b prime is zero. Ah, this means corner g prime is equal to really, corner g beta beta b minus b prime is an element in corner g prime b prime is contain corner g prime and then again apply the definition of exact sequence to this equality corner g prime is equal to image f prime ah this means um this is f prime this means there exists some element in a prime such that uh, such that the map is f f prime beta b minus b prime is equal to oh, f prime a prime is equal to beta b minus b prime now let's go ahead this is our last result in this previous slide and let's start from this here to finish our uh, proof another important then uh, we should see notice the value a prime because from this map a prime depends on the value alpha why the, by the assumption alpha is surjective or epimorphism so this clearly a in a such that um, alpha a is equal to a prime so substitute this into the formula we can write f prime alpha a but i will write this is equal to beta b minus b prime then again apply a commutative diagram in this case f prime alpha you can see yeah f prime alpha is equal to beta f a for all a in a and then let's consider second and third term then um, this is b is equal to a and if the term which is related to beta is wrapped and b move the right side then we can write beta b minus f a is equal to b prime from this term our proof is finished why our claim is here I will pick the bet B prime for whatever we choose in element in B prime I can I desire to find the element in B such that beta blah blah in B prime but we can find 
b minus the answer is b minus f a so beta is epimorphism let's see the, another lemma which is related to split exact sequence but i will not prove this statement just uh, introduce to you and explaining this lemma uh, if r is a ring uh, this is our uh, assumption r is a ring and a i in i is family of r module this is correction of r module so r product a i a i but this element <coughs> correction if i is in element in i every uh, additive group is uh, enabled uh, eligible to dissolve to r modules and <clears throat> C is an R module. What is C? Here. <clears throat> C is just C. <laughs> and phi, the map phi, C to AI in I is family of R module homomorphism. Ah, this is a correction of R module homomorphism. Then there exists a unique homomorphism. this here such that phi pi i composition phi is equal to phi i for all i also this is um if you read this lemma this is so abstract that it is not, it is not easy to understand but uh, as we studied in the free abelian group or free r module we uh, proactively use this commit diagram so, assumption C is an R module, and another assumption is is pretty much analogous to pre R module. This map is phi i, and another assumption is okay. Then there exists unique r module homomorphism c to a this here unique r module homomorphism c to a uh, c to a i this is such that what is phi i phi i is here phi i originally the short pass is here but this is this is a projection map as we understand projection map this commutative diagram holds this means v uh, f then fi is composition vi this is our design so if this if this condition is satisfied, then we can unique homomorphism, R module homomorphism, C from two direct sum A I. Similarly, we can talk about an, another lemma, but it is similar in upper case. Let's read the lemma. The condition is same. Or looks looks like the same. The um, R module. R is a ring. Is collection of R modules, and D is R module such that this map is a family of R module homomorphism. Then let's draw this commutative relation. These are module and this is a i to d is um, in this case not a phi 
psi this map psi i is r homomorphism then there exists a unique r homomorphism in this case yeah um direct sum a i to d what then what you can draw commutative diagram um phi uh in this case psi iota i where will it come iota i iota i to become to be um the to become phi i is the composition this then um, how to construct here commutative diagram is rotate here this uh, is inclusion map you can so this commutative relation um phi i is equal to iota i and psi so this means if this condition are satisfied, we always construct unique R module homomorphism psi. Then we can our underlying theorism, which I want to, to say is, is this theorism, spiritic exact sequence. As I already said, split exact sequence I introduced this definition of C that following taking following or equivalence if following if uh, this short exact sequence uh, is is construct then following statement take following statements each statement equivalent. So there is an R module homomorphism. There is a uh, this is a, um, abstract. So let's prove uh, this statement A B C now. Now let's prove. The equivalence relation statement A, A, B, C. First, I will see A to C statement A to C. Our claim is B is isomorphic to A1 direct sum A2. Um, apparently, we you apply the five short lemma in this uh, theorism. To this theorism, but our claim, fundamental claim, is we find the map a1 direct sum a2 to be. If we can find this map, we can directly apply short exact lemma. This map is identity. This is clearly isomorphism, and this map is clearly identity isomorphism but what if there is there exists a map a this direction we can we will find this map but by previous lemma this do you remember yeah uh, we can find unique we find unique map from direct sum ai to d of course, in this case, this is finite direct sum, this is B, but okay. Indeed, by the assumption, we construct the map phi, I, convenience, for convenience, I put phi, construct, the map phi is construct A1 direct sum A2, and V and the map is uh, this is direct sum A uh, 1 
point A2, then this map defined as FA1 and by the assumption because H is the homomorphism if we um, H A2 you directly check this map is homomorphism but anyway important point we map we construct we can construct the map a1 plus a2 direct sum a1 a2 from a1 direct sum a2 to b and if we can find the map we directly by short fiber fiber short lemma phi is isomorphism because phi is isomorphism we can deduct b is isomorphic a1 direct sum a2 let's see the statement from b to c now lastly we can find the map uh, to in order to apply short five lemma we can find the map from b to, from b to a1 to direct sum a2 but Pre similarly, uh, we by the lemma. In this case, we can unique homomorphism map from C to direct sum A i. Of course, in this case, C is replaced with B, and direct sum is finite A one direct sum A two. Anyway, we can construct the map homomorphism map pi. In this, for convenience, I put them pi. And the map pi is indeed defined pi b currently the map psi continuously read phi psi this map a1 direct sum a2 this map uh, define if element b goes then define um, g g is already exist map g b and by assumption we can we there exists k is a homomorphism map um, putting this term then this is clearly homomorphism and this is a unique homomorphism by the lemma and and then we because we can find the map and a this is uh, and this is uh, isomorphism by five short lemma phi is isomorphism map and we can deduct a1 direct sum a2 is equal to b Statement in this case from C and to from statement C to A. In this case, our assumption is B is homoisomorphic to A1 direct sum A2. This notation is isomorphic notation. We can then our claim we can find the map H2B with G composition H is I identity but this is uh, if we see in this case if we see the commutative diagram we can construct easily map H how construct following this arrow H is um, I identity a2 this here and then A2 from the this what is this? This is a uh, we can consider inclusion map IA2. Okay. And then 
um, this from A1, A2B, as we saw, as we as we already referred, we can always uh, construct the um, unique homomorphism map. This is phi, as as I uh, see, this is phi. So we can find, indeed, we can construct the map eight, uh, this here, and this is. I will three step goals, but this is clearly equal to a from a two and b, and clearly the direction is um, other direction is diff, um, the other way around. So this statement is clearly deduct deduct. In the <coughs> in the same way. We can prove the statement C from C to B. Uh, in this case, similarly, our assumption is B is isomorphic. Uh, B is isomorphic to A1 direct sum A2. We can, our claim, we can find the map B to A1 such that KF is equal to identity. Um, if this is clear by using the following arrow, we can construct map K. The map K is this is B2 from B to A1. First, we can and the lemma we can construct map, pa, map Psi. So Psi is first, and then this is what? How to construct from A1, A2, direct sum A2 to A1? Mm, this is projection map. That but in this case, project to A1 into A1. The sub sub index is uh, A1, phi A1, and then this is identity map. This. So if we construct k this here, but I, th this is go from b to a1, and this is we can check this is R modi homomorphism. So by the relation we can prove all of the statement is proved. So we go to a to c, c to b. So this is equivalence relation. As proved.